So let's talk about allergies. Now it's springtime again and that is the most common season for people to experience allergies, also known as hay fever. So what's going on when you have these allergies? Well your immune system is overreacting to harmless substances such as dust mites, insect bites, pollens, pet hair, uh, different types of foods, molds potentially and even medications. So most of the time the symptoms are an itch somewhere or everywhere. Um, you can get itchy eyes, itchy nose, itchy back of the throat and itchy skin. Your eyes will also become very red and watery. Um, your nose can also become very watery, but it can also go very stuffed up if your sinuses are involved. Um, the itchy skin can also have raised lumps, uh, which we call hives. And then some people with asthma, their asthma can be triggered off, so always have your blue inhaler handy. Now what treatment options do you have at your pharmacy? Well, we've got tablets which are sort of your main staple. They're normally just once a day. There are some S3 tablets as well. One in particular is safe for pregnancy. Next, obviously, you've got your nasal sprays. Now, your nasal sprays get more directly to the source of the problem if your nose is involved. Uh, it reduces inflammation in there and tells the body to settle down. And obviously, also eye drops. Now, eye drops are very helpful for those that experience those itchy eyes that you just want to scratch out. You can use these guys in combination. They don't have to be used in isolation as well. So you may use a tablet as well as a nasal spray and even an eye drop. All three of them some people have to use. If you know what causes your allergies, obviously, the best thing is to try to stay away from it. Obviously, that's not always possible for some people. The other thing is, if you know what month of the year you seem to experience your allergies first, try to take these guys a little bit earlier than that. That way you've got it in your system, you're telling your body not to overreact, and you may not even experience the hay fever or the allergies at all. So obviously pop down to your local pharmacy, they should be able to help you sort out something for your allergies. Again, if none of these guys have worked for you before or they seem to be getting used to, the doctor has a couple of tricks up their sleeve that they may be able to prescribe for you as well. So obviously there's some very serious allergic reactions such as an anaphylactic reaction. Now this is a life-threatening reaction that needs medical treatment as soon as possible. Hopefully an EpiPen is available to somebody. If not, obviously an antihistamine as soon as possible and using things like Ventolin to keep the airways open uh, before they get to the medical attention. Also, obviously there's new some treatments available such as uh, allergy immunotherapy. Now what this involves is obviously very small doses or very low doses of whatever you're allergic to and they slowly bring up that dose over time. Now it's not a quick process, it's a three to five year thing, so it's a bit of a long-term commitment. But again, if you find that your allergies are really, really bugging you, you can't sort of commit to life, uh, you can't hang out with your cat or your horse, um, this may be an option for you, so talk to your doctor about this.